Uh, in the last video, we saw how to configure an IPsec uh, route-based VPN on 40 gate firewall and on the SRX firewall. This is the continuation of the last video, whereas in we will try to configure the OSPF protocol over the existing IPsec tunnel. So the topology is almost the same, um, regardless of the fact that I have a new IP addresses configured on the SRX end which is 192.168.0.200 on gig 000, which is the exit interface for the IPsec tunnel. And the tunnel interface, ST0.0 .0 is having the IP address 1.1.1.200 slash 24, on which we will try to configure an OSPF area zero. And on the other hand, uh, we have the 40 gate firewall, whereas in everything remains the same. So if you have missed the configuration part of uh, the IPsec tunnel, you can go back to the last video and you can check out the, uh, uh, you can go to the uh, reference link as well to get the uh, respective configuration to complete the IPsec tunnel uh, between the 40 gate firewall and the SRX firewall. So. Um, I am assuming that you already have the IPsec tunnel active on the 40 gate firewall and on the SRX. And um, yeah, so uh, let's get started. So on the 40 gate firewall, if you go, Okay, so this is the 40 gate firewall, whereas in, let me just show you the uh, status of the IPsec first. So you can see here, this is the phase two showing as active. Let me show you the phase one as well. So you can see here, this is the phase one, which is active. You can see 108, 192.168.0.200, exactly the same what we have on the topology. And let me show you the same thing on our Juniper SRX. So this is the phase one, you can see here, the remote IP address is 108. Let me show you the phase two configuration. So this is the phase two configuration. So you can see here, both the tunnels are active on all, both the devices and I have the reachability as well. So now that we have the tunnel active, we'll try to configure the IP address on, on the tunnel interface, because without the IP address, uh, we, you will not be able to bring up the OSPF. Okay, so let's go to the tunnel. This is the tunnel interface. 1.1.1.200/24 same as on the SRX 1.1.1.200 and on the 40 gate 1.1.1.8 slash 24. Okay, so now we have the IP address on the tunnel interface. Let me show you the configuration on the SRXN. So 
So you can see here, the IP address is already configured on the SD0.0 .0 interface, which is a tunnel interface. Now we'll go to the OSPF tab and we'll try to, okay, this is the router ID. So I have already updated the router ID here, which is my IP address, 1.1.1.8. Create the area. I'm going to create area zero. And as per the diagram, I'll create area one as well. They're going to be a normal area, regular area. Create the network. 1.1.1.0 slash 24. Another one is on area one, which is going to be 14.140.40.0 slash 24, which is going to be this network, the network attached to the port two. So one area is on port two, another area is on OSPF interface, OSPF or IPsec, which is the IPsec interface. Now that we have created two area and two network scopes, let's try to create the interface. And then select the IPsec. Set the hello interval to 10, which is by default, 40. This, these are the default values on the SRX device. Let's save it. Create another one, which is for area one, this area. And then select our port two, 10. 40, 40. Okay, now that we have the OSPF configuration in place, now the configuration is complete on the 40 gate fiber. Let's go to the Juniper SRX. Since I have all my interfaces uh, in the untrust VR, so I'm going to have this sort of command, which is set routing instance un untrust. In your case, if you have the interfaces in uh, the default uh, VR, you can simply type in set up protocol OSPF and then go ahead with the rest of the configuration. So I've mentioned that in the, in the article that I've written here, So you can refer this article. I'll, I'll leave this in the description so that you can refer this. I'm creating area zero as per the diagram. And then I'm putting the interface ST 0.0. .0. Hello interval 10, 40 seconds. And then I'll create one more area, which is area two. As per the diagram, as you can see on screen, and I will put loopback 0, 0 into area two. Okay, now the configuration is complete here as well. So let's try to check the status of the protocol, status of the OSPF adjacencies. You can see here it is stuck in X start. I'll tell you the reason why it is stuck in X start. Let's check out the same on the SRX.
since I have the untrust VR, I've given the config uh, the command here as instance untrust. In your case, if you don't have the uh, VR, if you have all the interfaces in the same uh, default VR, you can skip this. So you can see here, this is an X dot state as well on the other end. Let us try to find the cause of this. Okay, if you clearly see uh, the information given in phase two, you will see that the MTU value is set to 1446. And if you see here, the empty value is set to 9192. So this is the reason why the OSPF is going into X dot state because there is a mismatching uh, MTU, uh, MTU size. There are two ways of uh, fixing this. One is to set the MTU manually on both the devices, on both the tunnel interfaces. Other uh, option is to you know have a configuration to ignore the MTU value that we are not going to do that because it is not recommended since OSPF requires you to have the similar MTU because of the operations that it carries because our segmentation can cause issues while building up the database. So it is not recommended. I'll show you the first option whereas in you can configure the manual MTU on the interfaces. Let's try to uh, manually set the MTU value. Okay, first of all, you will have to uh, enable the MTU override. Once done, you can set the MTU value. I'll set it to 1400. We'll have to uh, reset the VPN again so that the MTU can take effect. Let's try to set the MTU value here as well. Okay, the changes are committed. You can see here, now it is set to 1400. Okay, I have tried uh, resetting the phase two. It seems like it is down. Now let's try to check the status of the OSPF. You can see here, neighbor ID is showing as 33, 33, 33. So you can go ahead and set the
Okay, you can see here it is in full state now after uh, changing the MTU value. This is also showing as full. And you can see, you can see the neighbor ID as 1.1.1.200. So that was all uh, in this video. Hope you enjoyed that. And basically whenever you're doing the OSPF or IPsec tunnel configuration, make sure you have the matching MTU values. Otherwise you will end up uh, in the state X start. And that's all in this video and please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and stay safe. Have a good day.